Thailand's household debt increased 3.9% to 14 trillion baht in the fourth quarter of last year, and that represents 89.3% of GDP. This is according to Danusha Pichianan, who's the Secretary General of the National Economic and Social Development Council. He noted that the increase, although at a slower rate, was in line with economic contraction and reflected public concern over creating new debt. However, he also said that the ability to service household debt has improved, but it still needs to be closely monitored as the amount of outstanding debt, which does not exceed three months, remains high. Danusha said that non-performing loans or NPLs for the fourth quarter of last year dropped to 2.84% from 29 in the third quarter thanks to the debt restructuring programs introduced by financial institutions to ease the financial burden on their debtors. He predicted that household debt as a percentage of GDP is likely to increase this year due to the economic slump unemployment problems and the low purchasing power of the public, especially in low-income families. Unemployment in the first quarter of this year increased by 1.96% compared to the previous quarter as a result of the direct impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, although the employment rate in the farm sector has slightly increased by 0.4%, while employment rates in the industrial and tourism sectors have continued to contract since last year. Working hours per week for the first quarter of this year have dropped for the sixth quarter by 1.8% to an average of 40.1 hours. Looking at the whole employment picture, Danusha said that more people were employed, particularly in the farm sector, but working hours have dropped, reflecting an underemployment situation, which has led to a drop in the incomes of the employees for freelancers in particular. He also expressed concern over unemployment among new college and university graduates, as he predicted that about 4.9 million of them may not find employment because many businesses have been struggling and are unable to take on new staff. So we can see that the COVID-19 pandemic has put a hard hit on many of these sectors here, especially the fact that many businesses are slowing down with hiring new people. It would be a very tough situation for many graduates and those who have already been unemployed because of the pandemic.